Alright, what is up? We're back with Ranked. We're back with uh, trying to track down the elusive level 11. Our win record is in tatters. Thanks to Zog and that last that last match against the Tager. Oh boy, that was some lag. So here we go. I suck. I did not even mean to do that. Oops, I didn't mean to do that either. That would have hit. I'm the best. That was supposed to be a 360C. Just in case you were wondering. Backdashes. Oops, I deserve that. Alright, so that just catches backdash. My fault for backdashing when this person was in the air. I could have done much better than that. Wow. Okay. First the backdash, now wake up super. Nah. Nope. Oh, I thought I was going to catch that. Can't just spam projectiles against me, especially when it's one as bad as Celica's. Okay. This person's so scared of Celica. Like, this person is unbelievably scared. I did not think that was going to grab me from that far away. That felt like it was going to take a while. I mean, like, that just, I don't know. I did not mean to do that, but I'll take it. Because I'm going to get a spark bolt. I did not get it in time. God damn, I didn't get my sledge. Doesn't matter because they bursted, but yeah, I still I didn't get my sledge. I'm the best. <laughs> Good god. Dude, my I oh man. I tried to do uh I don't know why I came here. I honestly don't. It was a terrible goddamn idea to come around here. I <laughs> I did a little bit of single player shit before this, and I was just like, you know what? Let me just not... Let me get rid of this. Because I tried to do Unlimited Mars. And I tried to do it with Asriel. And like I... Worst... The worst execution I have ever seen from myself. Ever. Like my day one execution. On pad. Was better than what I was doing at the beginning. And so for some reason. I decided to come around here and play. And it was not smart. It was not... It was not brilliant. Let me try to play this dude again. So I can steal his orange. I mean I can steal yellow. And get orange. He's going to want his run back anyway. I hit him with completely random shit. I did not deserve to be hitting him with any of the shit that I hit. <laughs> not a single button that I hit had any game plan behind it or anything intelligent. Yo, this dude wants his run back hella fast. Nice backdash, Nate. My pokes are. God damn, that was supposed to be 360C and that shit would have worked. Alright, that's an old red. Jesus, I suck. Two C. That was 2C. That was 2C! Let's hold that for trying to anti-air with a button that does not actually function as an anti-air. That's what we goddamn get for trying to use a button against its intended purpose. And its intended purpose is to just not exist. It's a goddamn combo tool, that's it. I deserve that. Nice, that was a good air dash. 
I'm playing as poorly as I did before, but this person's picked it up a little bit. God damn, dude. This character's good, though, right? Fuck! It got hella laggy right there. Like, I don't know if that's what caused that counter hit, but it got hella laggy right there. <laughs> wow, I cannot believe that worked. Okay, so that catches her back dash free. That's good to know that his 360B catches her back dash. So it's just, it's invincible at the very, like the very, that means it's invincible at the very, very, very start of it. Which means he can't, yes, I got the orange, bitch! Uh, that means I can't, um... Like, it gets through hits that I do, like, so 5A, right? It's invincible at the very start, so my 5A is fast enough and has few enough active frames that it bypasses that, but I would be able to catch it with basically anything else. Like, I could probably 5C it, I would assume, because uh, she would still be in the act of moving backwards when 5C caught her at the tip. Uh, 5B wouldn't work because it doesn't have the range. I could probably hit her with a 5D, but that's such little reward off of it, and it's such a huge risk because it takes so long to actually come out at the outset that it's very easy to know if somebody's hitting buttons because again off a of gadget finger um it's a rock paper scissors game so sometimes somebody's gonna jump sometimes they're gonna back dash sometimes they're just gonna block sometimes they're gonna hit buttons and so if i try to do 5d on wake up that is just like a free please hit me i'm holding up a sign like wily e. coyote that just says hit me if I use 5D off a of gadget finger. But the one thing that's actually like really, I've been working uh, really hard and one of the reasons why I've been doing a bunch of single player shit. I've actually, you'll see once we get to Unlimited Mars that I have been doing a decent amount of uh, single player stuff is because I'm trying to get down number one combo enders and optimal combo routes. So like, for instance with Tager, I am not in any way, shape, or form like changing my combos in terms of what I do in them. However, there's always like there's an individual piece of every single combo that's just part of every single combo. So like Atomic Collider into 5D into Gadget Finger Whiff. That's basically in every single combo. Uh an airborne or anything like 5C or yeah, 5C, 6A, 3C into Atomic Collider Whiff. That's part of every single combo. Uh something like 5c 6a 6b 6b stuff like that is just you know it's in every single combo you do with tager however you can change the order around and potentially get more out of a combo depending on when you do those things in the combos so one of the things that you really want to do overall with tager is always try to end your combo with the 5c 6a 3c atomic collider with because that gives you optimal endings and that's one thing i've really had to wrap my mind around and like really just kind of shove it out of my head that gadget finger is actually the worst combo ender in tager's arsenal you cannot get worse than uh gadget finger because you can't meaty people you cannot meaty somebody to catch somebody trying to hit buttons you can't meaty somebody to catch their wake up back dash you can't catch rolls when they're trying to get away from you you restand them and you turn it into a rock paper scissors game where honestly it's not in your favor it is a true rock, paper, and scissors game where this guess you can make beats the guess they make, but the guess they make can beat the guess you make. And so it doesn't give you enough advantage on hits uh, on using it because it's plus three, which means the only button that you have that can actually beat mashing is 5A. And you get such little reward off of 5A, and the only reward you get off of 5A is another gadget finger. So it's a problem to actually end combos with Gadget Finger. And so that's one of the main things that's caused me to work on this combo route stuff is because you want to be either ending with a 4D mid-screen because that puts them like right on top. You are right on top of them if you end a combo with 4D. They wake up and they are right next to you. So they can't, like with Gadget Finger, the best option overall that I would say 
in general for what you can do off a of gadget finger the safest option is backdash because it will most characters their backdashes will take them out of a range at which Tayer can actually severely punish you some characters have really shitty backdashes uh, and they can get caught by a 5C into a 6A or something like that. But most characters are able, like, they'll get hit by a 5C, but I won't be able to combo off of it. I won't be able to get a reward. So you'll get clocked by a 5C, and now you're outside my optimal range anyway. You take that little bit of damage, and now you're safe. Uh, if I try to 5D to call out a backdash, most characters, their backdash recovers quickly enough that they're going to have to block the 5D, Unless they're a character like Asriel who can just backdash, backdash, and then they don't have to worry about it at all. But uh, most characters, they'll have to block the 5D. But now, again, you are out of my 5C range. You are out of range of anything dangerous that I have. So sure, I may have stacked a little bit more magnetism on top of you. But that's it. That's all I get. And then you can backdash again after blocking that 5D. And now I cannot touch you from there. Unless I have Sparkbolt. Sparkbolt is the great equalizer. Sparkbolt is the one thing that's like, all of these options that blow up Tagger free are ruined by Sparkbolt. Sparkbolt is one of the strongest tools Tager has and there is a very solid reason why that shit is limited. There is a very real reason why that shit is limited. Um, but so anyway, that again, that's the thing that I've really had to kind of wrap my mind around is always making sure I do a combo route that I can end with either 4D mid-screen or 2D uh, in the corner. 2D is the best ender in the corner because it gives you more advantage. Then 4D, the problem with using 2D mid-screen is that it pushes them really far away, so like that advantage really doesn't come into play and it's pretty irrelevant. But yeah, so that's one of the big reasons why I've been doing a bunch of single player stuff is just getting the muscle memory necessary to actively be able to do those combos and end outside of Gadget Finger. Because again, Gadget Finger is the worst thing I can use in terms of... Uh, it's pretty much the ender you want to use because there's really no other option for a lot of unmagnetized combos, basically. That's kind of what it boils down to. Damn. Did I chase off? I guess I chased off. I chased off the poor, uh, Celica. Unfortunately, that's what you get for playing Celica. And that's actually the main reason why I, just to kind of talk about this a little bit, because we obviously got time. I'm trying, I want to get to level 11. That's the entire reason why I'm doing this. I want to get that trophy. I'm trophy hunting. Um, but yeah, so, plus, you know, again, the simple fact that I can actually see the connections before I start playing is a wonderful thing. You pretty much take it for granted until it's ripped away from you in a shitty PS4 port. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, but so one of the big reasons why I will always argue against Tager not being an A tier character is entirely dependent upon how you set up the tiers. So like me for instance, most people, most of the tier lists that I have seen from people, they only go down to a B tier. That's as far as they go down. And if you're only looking at a tier list of S, A, and B, then I would agree that in that context, Tager has to be an A tier character. You cannot put him with the characters that would belong in B tier. He does not, he is not weak enough and he has enough of an advantage over the majority of characters that would be placed in B tier that he should definitely be A tier. But I do not agree in any way, shape, or form that this game is limited to only three tiers. And the reason for that is because solely of the existence of Tarumi, Celica, Arakuni. Let me actually go look at this shit real quick. Let me just go to the character select. Um, arguably, maybe, maybe. I am not like saying this like I have any. See, I am absolutely assured, Arakuni, Tarumi, Celica belong in a C tier. There is that is unquestionable in my mind. I cannot see any reason why that would not exist. Arguably, Amane and Bullet. Arguably, those are ones that could easily be very low B tier. I, I am not convinced. That those characters belong in C tier and one of the reasons why is actually just because Amane there are certain characters that Amane just kind of kills but the ones that Amane does not kill kill him so it's like he has these very 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 few solid matchups really good matchups and then every other one it sucks to be that character and so that's just not a good place to be so that's why I would see that character in uh, C tier but that's also why I could hear an argument to have him be B tier and with Bullet I think that's mostly just my own personal bias more so than to say like she actually belongs in C tier 
And the reasoning for that is just, like, I hate... I just... I, I don't understand the changes they made to her, and I do not believe in my mind that they actually improved her. Because the one thing Bullet did not have a problem with was momentum. That was the one thing she didn't have a problem with. And now she has better momentum at the cost of pressure options in terms of her D moves and uh, in terms of actually, well, not really in terms of her neutral. Like, they didn't hurt her neutral, but they didn't help her neutral either. That Her neutral is still just at the same level of badness as it always was. And so, again, Bullet's kind of the same thing where, like, I could see the argument for having her as a low B tier character, but personally, I would say that she's a C tier character solely because... I just don't think she's good enough to compete with the rest of the cast in this game. And I feel like if you're going to put anybody in B tier, then that character should be somebody that can be competitive overall. Even if they have weaknesses, even if they have trouble with certain things, they should at least still have the tools necessary to be competitive. And I do not believe that Bullet has that. Um, and it's just because of her absolutely atrocious neutral and... Uh, that's, I mean, that's basically it. It's really just the fact that she has a shit neutral. And everybody else just runs over her. I think they're changing it, though, right? And I think I heard one of the changes from the Loke test in Central Fiction is that Bullet actually doesn't heat down anymore. I think I remembered that mention. So, like, again, it's kind of the same thing. Like, you're not fixing her neutral game? Well, I say that. They actually kind of are with the other change. But... Again, that's something that's like really positive for her in terms of her combo options. If she's not being able to heat that well, no. Nah, there's no way that's going to work like that. <laughs> there's no way because that just makes it so like every single combo she has when she's in heat level 2 would be an unlimited version combo. And that's when she does like 9k combos easily. There's no way they're going to design the character like that. That's too good. Because again, she has shit neutral and there's no argument against that. She does not have a good neutral game. But... <laughs> Not having a good neutral game is kind of irrelevant if all you need is two touches and then you win. You need one touch in order to build the heat up. And after that, you need one touch to get a kill combo. <laughs> and that's all you need. That's Kokonoe. Like, that's legitimately, that's CP 1.0 Kokonoe. Except Kokonoe had a far superior neutral game, which put her on a tier above everybody else. And Bullet does not have that going for her yet. But I do remember one of the low test changes was they vastly improved the range at which her D moves work when she's in level 2. So it goes like 75% of the screen, I would say. Not like instantly, but you know, like how you have to hold it down to charge the D move. Like, you gotta hold it down for maybe a quarter of a second and now she's targeting you. And tra it tracks. It's not like it doesn't do the big, you know, circle where anything inside of that circle gets targeted. It just automatically now targets the opponent. There's no circle anymore. It's just if the opponent is in X range. I mean, I guess it really is just kind of like that circle is still there. It's just not evident anymore. It's just a background thing now instead of a foreground thing. So you can't actually tell the distances. I think we're I think we're done getting matches here. We lost the ability. Oh, that's that Sam. I'm sorry. I would like to, but I remember that lobby. And we're not... Oh, there are not very many people playing right now, huh? I guess we're kind of fresh out of luck. Fresh out of luck. Fresh out of luck. We'll just sit here and see what happens. Um. But yeah, so I mean, it does seem like they are actually improving Bullet uh, somewhat in uh, CF, but Bullet's kind of the only character I've really seen that I actually play that I can kind of understand, you know, what the implications are of the changes and actually kind of put them into place of, like, this is what that affects. This is what that aids, this is what that damages, you know, that kind of thing, versus... I can't... I don't think I've seen any actual video of a Tager player from the Loke Tests. And there was one video of an Asriel player, but the Asriel didn't actually, like, really know what they were doing. And they didn't... The only thing we really saw from that was that uh, TCL now doesn't... It doesn't send them skidding, it doesn't do a wall bounce mid-screen. It actually just plants them, like, right in front of you. And, but again, the person was not exactly the best player in the world, so they didn't try to follow it up or anything, but it seems like it may be possible from what it looked like for how long it took them to tech. But again, you don't know, maybe that was a delay tech, maybe they didn't tech as soon as possible. Uh, but it looked like that may be something that could potentially be followed up. But again, it's something that's unconfirmed 
and we don't know it's just guessing at this point and obviously guessing is not going to get anybody <laughs> guessing tends to be wrong with all the different kind of options that can occur within a fighting game are we done are, are all we gonna get are those two uh, damn it I can't go play Supremus <laughs> I can't lose my orange square, man. It's so important to me. This is the achievement of my lifetime, man. We can't lose that. Should I play O'Neal? If there's only like 30 people online right now in this game, there's not going to be many people in O'Neal. Yeah, I guess that is it. We're just going to have... You know what? We can leave. We can... Let's do one unlimited Mars because I want to show you this bullshit and I want to hear whether or not any of you have dealt with it. So fun story. Just so I can kind of, you see, I've unlocked Course D. You have to do that by beating all three of these. I beat Course A and Course B the first time I tried them with Tager. Don't fucking ask me how. I have no idea how I got through this route. This route, okay. I can, getting through it, Amani was a bit of trouble. None of these other characters are really a problem with Tager. Amani is the only one. Tager versus Tager can be a little random, but in general, if you know how to abuse his AI, he's not a problem. Uh, this one was a struggle. However, the last... Lychee was the big one. Uh, Relius, Amane, and Lychee were the th big three in this route that were like, oh god. Mu, Nu, and Rachel? Surprisingly easy. Because all they do is spam their projectiles. They don't really know how to, like, handle Beast Sledge in neutral. They just got counter hit by it all day. So that made it simple as hell. Lychee was a problem, though. However, you're gonna see <laughs> if I can get through Jin. Like I said, my... I tried to play this a little bit beforehand, and I was not able to execute anything at all whatsoever. It was terrible. It was shameful is what it was. And you just saw the beginning of my shame right there. Holy god, why did that hit? Why did I not get a forward dash? Oh, okay, yeah, that's an overhead. I tech that so late. What? I did tech that one. Fuck you, I tech that one. Yo, I cannot get four dashes. That's the third time I've tried to four dash and I haven't gotten anything. Oh, my bad. I forgot I already used that. I got it. I got it. I'm always scared. I am always scared about that one because it's not. It's a. It's the timing on it isn't like. It's not a one frame as far as I'm aware. It's not a one frame link. If that is a one frame link and I'm hitting it decently consistently, I'm quite happy. But I don't think it is. I don't think it's anywhere near that difficult. But it is. It's definitely not an easy one to hit. Stop hitting me. Oh my god. Isn't a problem. He dropped the okay. Now it's a problem. Terrible ass combo on my part. Oh, I tried to I tried to backdash and we got hit. Oh, that's not good. I cannot lose to Jin. Come on, man. I gotta win one, please. Oh my God. You, like, how does that? I'm too busy bitching to actually tech easy ass purple throws. Wow, he just fucking air unblockable reset me. That's a oh Jesus. Did he just start aiming the other way? I can't really tell because he was kind of blocked. But was he starting to aim the other way and then he hit me? That was fraudulent as hell. That was so fraud. Like, I'm so mad about the beginning of that. This motherfucker crouched down. I hit a button and then the motherfucker stood back up. The button never came out. I wish I had a second PS4 controller so I could tell, like, with absolute certainty. Because I've actually not really played anything that's really, like, input intensive on PS4 in a very long time. So it's very possible, you know, like, rapid button presses are wearing on it or something. I don't know. But it's very fucking odd. At least that one came out even though I just got fucking hit. God damn. 
Combo, I need to stop doing that mid screen. Wow! God, man! That has an absurd hitbox. Combo. Oh, God! Fuck this guy. Seriously, if I can't even get past Jin, that's awful. I'm gonna have to do this with Tager. Just to kind of moderately redeem myself. Oh my god. Just to moderately redeem myself if I can't even get past Jin with Asma. Jesus! I didn't mean to do that. I kind of like I knew that I was fucking up. Again, he crouched down and fucking nothing came out. Holy shit! Wow! That was that was that was not Good God. Ah shit. What the fuck? That's the third time in a row I've dropped that. Good god, this is the level of my play right now. This is the level of my play! What the fuck? What? What? That's not gonna hit. Why did I try to do that? That was supposed to be an air, a jump into an air grab, and I got a back dash. Yo, how bad am I? Oh my god, he baited me. That was not what I wanted. Why did you go low? Dude, this is embarrassing as hell. This is embarrassing as hell! Why am I recording? Why did I do this? I'm gonna do it with Tager. I gotta do it with Tager. I gotta get past Jin. Seriously? I can't even beat Jin? Jesus! So the first time I tried, I did try this twice. So I guess not the first time. The first time I got cock blocked by Hazuma. The second time I got annihilated by Valkenheim because he did some shit I ain't never seen before. And, uh, one of you guys left a comment about how he just kept armoring stuff. And I was kind of like, you know, he doesn't have permanent armor. Like, that doesn't happen. I don't really... Maybe you're just incredibly unlucky. That doesn't really happen. He has an overdrive-specific super that gives him permanent armor so long as he retains wolf form. If he goes out of wolf form, he loses it. But when he's in overdrive, he gets to retain wolf form until overdrive is gone. And then wolf form finally starts... The wolf gauge finally starts to go down a little bit. Okay, never mind. Apparently, I'm not gonna execute with Tager either. Holy God! Fuck me! Wow, I didn't do it, huh? Can't even burst into this. Get the fuck off me, bro! Oh my God! Dude, this is the best AI Jin I have ever seen in my lifetime. He has never done this amount of, like, mind game shit before. At least I hit that goddamn combo this time. Wow. Wow. God, I'm terrible. Yo, I tech that. What? I'm sitting there fucking walking back. Wow. But seriously, I was sitting there walking backwards and then I got hit. How the fuck is that not blocked? Terrible combo. I guess I did get corner. God, I'm playing awfully. I really cannot properly describe how terribly I am playing. It speaks for itself, really. Shit. Let me burst that real quick. Oh, 
My bad. Should have known that doesn't work. Please die. Please, for the love of God, there's, there's nowhere. There's no, there's nowhere near enough damage. God damn it. Please get hit. Yes, thank you for ice carring. I got past Jin. I'm the best. But so this was the character that I was scared about getting through. I don't know how to beat this character with Azriel. I really don't. Watch everything she does. It's just a constant wall of bullet hell projectiles that I do not understand how to get through in any way, shape, or form. Like, because like I said, the AI, the AI that uses projectiles is completely free to be Sledge. They just, they don't bait it. They don't account for it. They just get hit by it. Wow. Wow. 6A. Best move in the game. By far. Unquestionably. That was not right. That was supposed to be a 3C. My wonderful execution right now. The best. Son of a bitch. See what I- Oh. 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 That's my bad. How in the hell did I not get hit by that? Should've known. Should've known. Those fucking things. You, this fucking move. These fucking things. These fucking things. God damn it. It's the fact that they keep on moving, even after you hit her, is so infuriating. Oh, she's not gonna die from this. That was poor use of me. Oh, she might. Yeah, I guess Jin has more health than her. Cause I don't think that would have killed Jin. Fuck. That's not a projectile. And neither is that. Oh shit, she's learning. She's learning. Please stop hitting me. She stopped learning. Fuck, she learned. She set up. Oh god. Those fucking things, dude. Those fucking things. I'm dead. It's my fault that I kept mashing. I kept trying, I kept wanting to 5A or between it, because sometimes that allows it to happen because the counter hit B Sledge has such a huge amount of uh, hit stun that sometimes I'm able to 5A, 5B, 5C and just get that off of it. But, oh boy, that is, that's the worst Unlimited Mars I've done in a good long time. So, hope you enjoyed that, because I sure as hell didn't.